Hello. Guys. Oh. Hello. Hi. So guys, um, I'm back again. Today is the 4th of February. Um, my interview is tomorrow, the 5th of February, and I am very, very okay. I've been studying for this interview for a week now, well, two weeks. And two weeks, not, not non-stop, like every like two week, every two days. So I've been doing questions and stuff. I will do another video on how to prepare for these interviews. Um, I just wanted to do an update and kind of like make this a vlog. Um, vlog, vlog, whatever. I won't... <laughs> I, you can clearly tell that I'm not okay, um, but yeah, I just thought I should just do this and um, you'll see, you'll see more, uh, this is not just, just the beginning of the video, I just want to take you with me towards this experience and I want you to know how good or how bad it is and um, yeah, I just want you to get a feel of how it feels like wanting to go to medical school interview. First of all, I need to show you something that I'm going to carry on with me to London. So, um, these are sets of questions and information about the university itself and also about the. Because, okay, my interview in this uni is kind of. Wait. Maybe I should. Yep, yeah, that's better. So. This interview is not MMI style, it's traditional style interview and they have provided me with an article that I need to speak about in the interview. Um, they told me that, okay, you need to um, do some research about it, do some ethical talks about this article that they have given me. I don't know whether it's okay for me to talk about the articles, I'm just not going to talk about it, just in case. Um, so I have done some research on that. Uh, I've got um some information about why i have chosen bart's uni um to study in and um and yeah and then i had some nhs topics that i've been looking at you know what i'm gonna do some videos on that i just don't want to get into details right now but what i'm taking with me are these things so my files my passport my um my certificates um and my clothes <laughs> and different kind of things so i've got like this medical school interview book that i've been using all this time revising and preparing for the interview i will do a video on how to or what to do and the tips and advices that i can give you for an interview preparations hopefully soon um but yeah i'm just getting ready going to london carry on watching the video you will see Yep, you will see a um, you will see me basically going to an interview and coming back from the interview. It's gonna be tomorrow. Oh my god! <laughs> Bye, guys. For now. Um. Hi, guys. I am just recording this video to add it to the previous one and just say about how I am feeling and how things are basically um as it gets closer to the to the time of my interview I get more and more it's not stressed but I get upset in a way I don't know I'm supposed to be um more kind of excited and upset as you can see i'm very tired i've been reading a lot um in the past two weeks a lot and it has been just very hard um i feel like the gaps in my head they are so much and even though I've went through everything, I feel like I haven't gone through some things that I am supposed to. Usually the things I don't go through come up in the exams that I do. 
but honestly i don't know what else i need to read with this um for this interview um other than that we came to london we are in london at the moment and um i was just reading some news and articles that were important and i was researching about like on the previous days and i left it for tonight because i just wanted to go over them and not forget them really um honestly i just don't know i haven't done it like this before this is a vlog of course um the only thing i can say is not to stress for now well of course i'm stressing but it's very normal because i have always wanted to get to this point and now that i am here i'm freaking out and it's just it's just a feeling i guess and it will change so it's very late at the moment it's two o'clock in the morning i need to go to sleep get up in the morning uh, go over some stuff hopefully if i can if not i will not do anything honestly i just can't can't do it anymore um get ready and then hopefully set off and go for my interview i will do a video again while i'm going there and while i'm getting ready and stuff hopefully if not I will do a video while I'm going there and I will explain everything and hopefully after as well. So for now, I'm just gonna go on sleep and maybe like read a bit and then go and sleep. I don't feel well, honestly. I feel tired. We've been on the way for like four or three hours now and I got up early today morning, studied. I was away last night studying and this whole week I've been studying non-stop and it's just very tiring but it's worth it um, we will all get through this and it's gonna be okay so I'm just gonna go to sleep you know what I'm not gonna read anything today anymore I'm just gonna wake up tomorrow and go over stuff tomorrow uh, I'm just gonna go to sleep right now because I feel like <sighs> I apologize. I'm not going to cut anything. This is the truth. This is the exact me right now going through everything and I want to capture everything that's happening. So even me yawning can be a good point of how tired I am right now. So I'm just gonna go to sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Hi guys. Um, I just got ready, and I mean from last night, I just went to sleep. I did some reading and then went to sleep, and then today I just got up and just ate my breakfast and then started getting ready and now I actually feel the waves of stress around the whole like my whole body basically um, how do I just stay calm is by thinking that it's gonna be okay because one thing that I need to mention is that I actually have a good positive feeling about this I don't know whether I'm supposed to feel like this or not but I just feel like because I've done interviews before whether it was for like college whether it was for university whether it was like um, for work um, I actually have done a lot of interviews before and I know that you know I am capable of selling myself properly uh, but this interview I just feel like because I'm not really familiar with it it's gonna be it's gonna be very stressful but I have done everything I could have I have done 
um, researches about the uni itself. I have done background knowledge on medicine, like from 100 or 200 years ago, or like even before that. Um, I have done many things about the article they have given me and um, and general stuff about interview questions, personal, ethical, uh, critical kind of thinking, uh, which is again ethical kind of uh, knowledge. I've already done everything I could have done. Um, let's just hope for the best. I am going to go there in a bit. So now it's um, half past two. My Uber is going to be here around three o'clock. I'll go straight to there. Um, I think I'll get there around like half past three-ish. My interview is at uh, 4.15, so I just want to get there and just settle down. This is stress, go away, get used to the environment, and then go in for my interview. I will see you guys in there in a bit. Okay, so hi guys, I am back again. I just wanted to say that uh, my interview is done. I'm actually currently going home, so I will do a further announcement on how the interview actually went later on because I was going to actually talk about it when I got out of the interview, but there was a tour that I had to go around the university um, for and um, I will talk about it when I get home. So we'll be back in a bit. Okay, hey guys, I'm back again. I'm actually at home now, I thought, because, okay, basically this was my first time taking underground uh, trains from in London, and it was crazy. It was completely packed with people compared to Manchester, trains in Manchester, you don't really see that many people. And I was terrified to have my phone out, so I couldn't really record myself there. I'm just gonna do a general overview of what happened really fast because i'm actually rushing to go downstairs we've got a birthday party going on uh first of all i got there went to the um to the university uh the main building of the uni um called the, the garrett building i went there i was registered i re did the registration they looked at my passport did my registration and then they told me, okay, we're going to take you upstairs into a room that the interview, um, the people that are going to be interviewed are going to be sitting there. And they were really, really friendly at first. The people that were sitting there, they were really friendly, really nice, genuinely nice. And they took me upstairs and I, we, we went into a room that there was a piano, there were water, biscuits, everything was there. And um, the chairs and so many people you know not so many like i can say about like 10 10 people that were um there to for their interviews with their families they were there and then i entered and these medical schools wearing blue they were there and they were just really medical students did i just say medical schools yeah medical students with blue shirts they were there they were really really friendly honestly like i felt like they kind of took all the stress i had before because i was shaking all the stress I had before of the before the interview, when I got there, when I saw the, uh, the students, it just, it just went away. And I actually feel like I actually connected with them a lot. And we kind of got into a conversation. We talked and it was just really nice and friendly. They asked me questions. Oh, where did you come from? What are you doing? How do you find it? Um, oh, like, um, was it hard getting in London? Oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. What are you doing tonight after here? And then these kind of questions. And then they asked me, okay, do you want to have a tour around the university after the interview? And I said, yeah, of course, I want to have a tour around the university. Of course, like it's Queen Mary, come on. And so we decided to sit down and just talk for a bit. They told me, don't worry, it's just going to be a very nice, friendly in interview. They're just going to ask you logical questions and you, you will know you will know how to answer them and then we went to they took uh they called all of us uh and took us to the interview room where there were like two lines of chairs and like every people person that had to be interviewed sat there waiting for their panel to come <clears throat> excuse me their panel to come and get them to go and like talk so my panel was panel d um uh, a really nice lady from the medical um you know she was a medical student she came she took me to the panel at first i was just like 
you know, shaking and smiling and everything, shaking hand and like smiling and everything. And then she took me to my panel, we sat down and there was two other uh, doctors um, sitting there. So I don't know, um, I don't really remember because they said at first they told me like, I think both of them were GPs. GP, uh, GP um, doctor so they were sitting there and they started asking me questions so I honestly don't remember the actual questions they asked me it was mainly about the article so about the te first 10 minutes was about the article that they gave me my article was about AI so artificial intelligence and they asked me some questions about that and then they asked something about me my work experience what did I gain from it what did I do for the community um and some questions about um what do you think a good team is what do you think a bad team is and uh what makes a good team a good team what makes a bad team a bad team and like these kind of things the good thing is honestly this topic i went over it before the interview like 10 times i don't know why i had this weird feeling towards it and i just went over it and that question came up thankfully they didn't ask anything about um any recent studies you you've read and stuff like that so I was really happy about that you know when you're in an interview I can say I was generally very stressed but I was not showing it so I was really all giggling and like smiling and like very confident I came into the room shake hands like and I was like um having eye, con eye contact with all of them was really nice like I was really confident I've got that kind of I know how to do it and yeah, we sat down and then after the, after the um, interview and the questions that they asked me, I'm sorry if I'm saying everything so fast, I just want to give you an overview and then hopefully I will sit down and do a video on interview and how to prepare for it. But after that, they asked me the questions, they asked me, oh, do you have any questions? And I was, I said, yes, I just, I read about the rag week that you do in your university. It's the week that they do like charities and like they, they, they gain a lot of fundings and stuff. And I was like, Have, do you do any other excellence programs? And then they said, oh, we do like, we do some other charities as well. I just asked this question as a thing to show that I am interested. And then I also asked about clubs and societies, which I are actually knew that they do actually do clubs and societies, but I just asked that. And I think that was the mistake I made because they were like, oh, if you look at the website, you can see it. But I just wanted to know more in detail, kind of. I already knew that they have clubs and societies all universities do but that was the only thing that kind of scared me and also you know what I was sitting there and I forgot my English like I didn't even know what language I was speaking in honestly like like properties of a person like having communicational skills I kept on saying characteristics and I was just like oh my god what is that word i still don't remember my, my brain is like completely locked up but anyway interview in general i think it went okay so i don't know what's gonna happen i did my best i was the confident the most confident person in that room to be honest there was another girl that was really confident but i don't know i think like i was actually doing really well um and then we went to have a tour around the university that i loved so much it made me want to go to that uni even more, which is scary to me because I'm just thinking, what if I don't get in and it's going to be a bummer. But at the end of the day, I did my best and this was the whole journey. I'm going to do a video in more detail. I just wanted to record everything that happened, tell you everything that happened. And I will do everything in detail and about interview preparations and everything later on, hopefully one day. And thank you so much guys for watching. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to keep you up to date with the result of this interview. Apparently it's going to be at the first beginning of March, they said. So in three weeks, so I'll know whether I'll get in or not. Fingers crossed I will get in. And if not, it's not the end of the world. I will let you know, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. Bye.